Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I'm Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I'll be covering important topics of oral pathology. The purpose of this video is to help you identify topics that have been asked in previous examination. This does not mean something else cannot be asked, but the probability of these topics to be asked is much more than the others. Today in this video, I'll be covering important topics from a very commonly asked chapter that is odontogenic tumors and cyst of oral cavity or jaws. Also, I have already covered important topics from three chapters previously that is developmental disturbances of oral and paraoral structures, benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity and tumors of salivary gland. You can check them as well. So now let's get started with today's topic that is odontogenic tumors and cyst of oral cavity. So first let's see odontogenic tumors. So in this you can be asked to classify odontogenic tumors. So you should know the classification. Then a very common question is ameloblastoma. Read it very nicely. It's definitely asked in exams. Then unicystic ameloblastoma. It is not very commonly asked. Just you should know what is unicystic ameloblastoma in case you get some question on that. Then another common topic calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or CEOT or the other name is pinbok tumor then adenomatoid odontogenic tumor or AOT and odontum so all these topics that I mentioned on the screen are extremely important except unicystic ameloblastoma all these topics I have already covered in detail in my previous lectures I am mentioning the link for all these topics in the playlist above on the screen so you can check that playlist as well to understand them nicely and score well in your examination. Now coming to cyst of oral cavity or jaws. In this the most commonly asked questions are. The first is to classify odontogenic cyst. So sometimes you can be asked to classify specifically odontogenic cyst. Or in general you can be asked to classify jaw cyst or cyst of oral cavity. So you should know it completely. Then you can be asked to define a cyst. Then the cysts that are asked in detail most commonly are dentigerous cyst, odontogenic keratocyst or an OKC or a KCOT, then calcifying odontogenic cyst or COC and radicular cyst or periapical cyst. Now there are some questions that are not asked very frequently and they can be a short note but they are not asked in detail or they can be VIVO or MCQs. So you should know a little bit about these topics. These are eruption cyst. Basal cell nevus syndrome, residual cyst, Bonds nodule and Epstein's pearl. This there can be an MCQ on this. Then lateral periodontal cyst or botryoid odontogenic cyst and Rushton bodies. Coming to non-odontogenic cyst, I have included non-odontogenic cyst in this chapter. They are not very commonly asked, but there can be a question. The non-odontogenic cyst that you should know are dermoid cyst, epidermoid cyst. Globulomaxillary cyst, benign cervical lymphoepithelial cyst and anidosmal bone cyst. So friends we are done with the topic. I hope these questions help you to prepare more nicely for your examination. In the next video I will be covering important topics from bacterial infections of oral cavity. You can like and follow me on my Facebook page below. Also feel free to ping me on my WhatsApp number mentioned below if you like to get yourself added in my WhatsApp group where I can solve any of your queries or have one on one discussion. Also friends it takes lots of effort to make such videos your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So do like my video subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon so that every time I upload a new video you are notified regarding the same and keep watching. Thank you.